what is going on guys cam Bose here today bringing you a new series that i'm going to be doing a 10 things you didn't know about which is basically just going to be uh 10 things you didn't know about your favorite superheroes and you know may or may not know about because uh, some of these things some people might know about but you know like super super uh like uh super big comic fans but some people might not know about these and so you know it's good for people that are that are wanting to jump in you know like uh 10 things that you didn't know about superman is what we're doing today so if someone like somehow didn't know about superman you know they can just watch this video jump right in and you know know a good amount of stuff to you know want to you know maybe dip into some superman comics all right so here we go with number one superman's impenetrable blue aura now um it isn't talked about much and you don't ever really see it but superman actually has a blue aura around him that has a large deal to do with his impenetrability and it also gives his eyes the blue color that they have uh and we never really see it but in one of the pictures i show it's uh green but um that's because it was a scan but it's it's a blue aura and it's not really touched on but it allows sorry about that it allows him to basically like survive like nuclear blasts and stuff like that and it's, it's actually really really dope all right number two the different colored kryptonites now uh some people might have heard of red or uh blue or pink kryptonite but there's actually a few more uh and uh red kryptonite turns kryptonians evil pink kryptonite actually turns kryptonians gay uh white kryptonite kills all plant life blue is only deadly to super bizarros like bizarro and like batzaro you know uh black kryptonite splits the personalities of Krypt kryptonians and physically splits the bodies of humans gold kryptonite removes all powers from kryptonians permanently orange kryptonite gives powers to any animal that it touches but only for 24 hours so the different color kryptonites are really interesting you know because not all of them affect kryptonians but some of them that do affect kryptonians are actually really interesting and you know then you know i didn't add the green kryptonite in there because well it's only you know green kryptonite and everybody knows about that one uh all right number three sold for 130 dollars now uh back in like uh uh, I forgot like it was in, like 1958 I think was the date or the year uh, Superman was sold for $130 uh, to DC by his creators Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster uh, which is about $2,100 in today's currency which is basically nothing compared to the millions Superman has made over the years and the creators and their families filed many lawsuits after the deal with DC uh even after the creator's deaths especially since you know superman has like so many movies and made so many like um so many uh so much money and if you just look at right now superman has two entire comic book series out you got action comics and then you got superman rebirth and that's actually crazy because people are actually really like people are really buying those like those are like really popular in dc rebirth right now especially since superman spoiler right here DC Rebirth, but Superman died right before DC Rebirth, and now a Clark Kent from another uh, place, timeline, I think, uh, he is taking over our Superman. Uh, number four, Superman couldn't always fly. Now, uh, he could really only jump high or like far, hence the line, can leap tall buildings in a single bound, you know, uh, they never really addressed Superman being able to fly because he couldn't always fly. And then somewhere along the line that was added because, you know, why not add more powers to Superman's arsenal? Huh. Speaking of more powers to Superman's arsenal, we've got number five, Superman's Super Flare. Uh, this is a power where Superman combusts, like literally combusts, with the power and radiation of a nuclear bomb, and it turns him completely human for 24 hours. Uh, it's kind of, uh, well not kind of, it's not really like it at all, but if you watch Supergirl, you might remember in season 1, when she like went all out with her, oh wait no, it wasn't season 1, it was season 2, where she like got her powers drained, and uh, by uh, Lena Luthor's mother or Lex Luthor's mother I guess so too but she got her powers drained and it was like a, a lasting effect but only for like 24 hours ish something like that uh but I think um basically it, it also happens when Kryptonians just like overuse her powers a little bit like uh I think there was also a moment in season one of Supergirl where she like used her like laser eyes like 
she went like max out on them and she was like really weak for a little bit um but yeah so superman super flare is actually like ginormous like that man becomes like a freaking nuclear bomb so that's just another thing to add to you know the government's watch list or at least in dc you know what i'm saying not, you know, not in real life but you know in dc that's another thing to add to government's watch list you know for superman uh number six superman fights for all races uh superman actually fought the kkk in a 16 book uh comic book arc after world war ii called the clan of the fiery cross uh i don't know much about it because i really didn't want to look into it um but i mean it's pretty self-explanatory superman fought the kkk which is actually um it's uh, pretty cool especially since it was um a little not really near but um a little bit prior to the civil rights movement so you got superman you know not only uh, an alien but he's seen as white so he kind of has like kind of the best of both worlds or not really the best of both worlds but he has experience from both worlds because some people that know that he's an alien don't treat him very kindly and then the people that you know like clark kent you know people that see clark kent you know he's a white he's a white male so you know he's treated differently than when he would be treated as superman you know by some people that you know don't like aliens in dc um but yeah so that's actually pretty interesting that he would fight the kkk because he actually um you know he kind of understands what it would be like for someone to be persecuted because you know of their race you know with quotes because you know race with color and then race with, like alien race you know but yeah moving on we've got number seven he's nothing more than a reporter uh now let me explain about this clark kent is actually a character in the marvel universe as well but he's just a reporter and nothing more and i don't know if dc knows about this or not but i mean they probably do but since his name is i mean since the only continuity is just that his name is clark kent he's a reporter you know he's not superman he's not going around with an s on his chest or any kind of insignia on his chest or he's not going around at all unless he's reporting something and uh in the marvel universe i'm pretty sure he's just seen as a pretty mediocre uh super uh, not superheroes uh just guy you know just uh, walking around doing a supporter thing all right moving on to number eight he is worthy uh superman can wield thor's hammer mjolnir not only because he's a superman uh as thor says but also because he's just straight up worthy of the power of mjolnir you know and he also you know has killed which is apparently one of mjolnir's requirements i hear uh which is why spider-man can't wield mjolnir because spider-man doesn't really kill uh fun fact i guess uh number nine float like a butterfly sting like a laser beam superman once teamed up with muhammad ali in 1978 to drop an alien to stop an alien invasion my bad uh yeah so i mean superman teamed up in in the comics of course uh with one of the biggest boxers arguably the biggest boxer of all time and you know the great muhammad ali you know just passed recently that's actually really big and when i found this out it was actually really crazy because for you guys some of you might know this but most of you may not know this and then i didn't know most of this so figuring out this was actually pretty cool and you know i just that that kind of made superman cooler for me because to be honest superman is a little op to me but you know finding this out superman actually became a little cool uh and then finally we have number 10 superman was originally an evil professor x uh now again let me explain superman was first conceived as a bald telepathic villain bent on world domination now of course uh superman wasn't like you know at first they weren't like uh oh yeah let's make superman let's make him a villain and he's gonna be telepathic and stuff you know of course they weren't thinking like that uh he might have uh, just like been, i don't even know if it was by the same creators because when you know jerry siegel and joe shuster created superman you know they made this all-american alien hero so yeah but i mean he was a bald telepathic supervillain bent on destruction so you know even professor x i guess uh but yeah guys thanks for watching that is it tell me if you knew any of these uh, tell me if you didn't know any of these uh you know tell me in the comments below tell me in the comments below what you want to see next you know what heroes or even super villains or even just comic book characters in general maybe not even heroes or villains like lois lane or something like that uh you know uh 
tell me what you guys want to see next you know maybe uh 10 things you didn't know about spider-man 10 things you didn't know about black manta you know i don't know you guys can do whatever in the comments well don't do whatever you know but just um you know suggest you know whoever you think you want to see in the next episode of 10 things you didn't know about and don't forget i'm cambos don't forget to subscribe you know and uh leave a like while you're at it and uh i'll catch you guys later peace out